All right, Mr. Uh, Nolan Stevens, uh, General Manager at Buxton Development Group. Thanks so much for taking a bit of time to uh, chat to me today. That's great. Um, oh. If we could first, I guess, I mean, we got involved with Buxton Group with the Granton, which is down in Brighton, which opened in December, which is our, our first install. Um, it's a spectacular venue, I have to say, having seen a lot of these places. But I suppose to start with, can you um, maybe just give us a, a bit of a, a quick rundown of, of the grant and, um, and, uh, and how it meets your audience? Mm. Yeah, no, so look, the, the grant is the fourth retirement that the Buxton family have developed over the sort of course of 20 years. And it's probably an evolution in sort of a high end um, in a city apartment building style retirement villages. Um, and over the time, we've sort of realised that the the product is, uh, you know, what what people are after is not is not a one bedroom studio or small apartments. That people are really looking for sort of large apartments. You know, not really downscaling too much in size from their houses, but obviously with a self contained feel and just the security of a retirement village, but we, without the the institutional feel that most people would sort of think a retirement village would be. Yeah, I think it's uh, certainly somewhere I would absolutely love to live. And it's beautifully positioned in, in Brighton, close to the beach and the shops and all those great things. And I think it sounds like a lot of the residents have really chosen to move there because it really encapsulates um, what they value out of Brighton. Most definitely. Look, I think, I think it's no surprises that uh, the type of villages we do, most of our residents come from the local area and you know they, they sort of want to be part of the same community where they've always lived. So obviously you were looking for a solution for the grant and, um, and I guess what were you looking at across both duress, so emergency um, and communications? What, what, what were you assessing in market? Combining where I could replace my sort of, I suppose my primary need is an emergency call system and the duress system and being able to replace that and then provide so all the other features which you offer is, you know, which, which is sort of what brought it all together for me at the grant and, and uh, sort of the rest is history there, you know, that, and we've rolled that out. And now, you know, we're, we're pretty quickly going on to replace our existing emergency call system at the Crescent because of the added features we can get with Lumen. And I think uh, at the Crescent, um, which is slightly, a, a, it's a different demographic, maybe a little older, um, a little more frail, but um, uh, we've managed to look at some other solutions with you as well, which which can really help residents on an individual uh, basis as well as their families. And look, and that's, that's been fantastic being able to work with you guys on a development viewpoint on some weird and wonderful ideas that we think that can, you know, use technology to enable our residents to remain independent for longer. And I guess, um, I guess none of us could have really foreseen what was, uh, what the world was going to look like six months ago, but um, has Lumen, um, Lumen's communication capability help during COVID? Oh, most definitely. Like we're now able to, you know, we're, we're changing our COVID guidelines, unfortunately, every five seconds at the moment. So we're sort of able to send out communications easily to residents through Lumen and be confident that they've read them. Whereas, you know, at, at an existing retirement village, you put something in their letterbox and hope that they pick it up and read it. Uh, and or because you know you, the cohort, you just can't rely on them all having a mobile phone, email address, or the like. So that the, the communication will be able to have back and forth, and uh, and understand that they've read it has been fantastic. That's great. Look, that's um, that's fantastic. I really appreciate you taking a bit of time to talk to us today, and obviously for having the faith in us as an organisation um, in delivering such a critical part of your infrastructure. So um, thank you very much and. And we appreciate that. And uh, we certainly wish you and your residents the best. It's a spectacular facility. So uh, thanks so much. All right. Thanks for that. Cheers. Thanks, Nolan. Bye.